Hey guys, if you are here, then you are desperately trying to learn how to add an airport without watching hundreds of hours of tutorials. And there are some great tutorials out there, but oh my gosh, I do not have the attention span. So, this video, like it's titled, I can make a functioning airport in a little less than 10 minutes. It won't be beautiful. That will be on you to add once you have the framework of how to get it in game but that part's the easy part so let's get started all right so what we're going to want to do first is if you're here then you've probably never used sdk or have it installed. advanced options we're going to go to dev mode and that's going to give us a toolbar up here uh, we have a dev mode drop down menu I don't have any red or yellow because I have the latest package, but it will say install SDK. Just do that, follow the prompt, and then we just back here. All right, now that we're installed, um, I'm just going to pick this kind of random island here, just because I did build a custom airport over here for my personal use on, on air, but I just want to stick with the island theme. They're easy to build on. So what we're going to want to do, and this only works in the sim, so I'd, I'll do it with a helicopter. Get a ground takeoff ready. And there's a chance that wherever you are building, uh, it may be heavily wooded, so maybe turn off crash collisions or whatnot. You just need to be able to get to the ground. Okay, so. All right, now that we're on free cam, now we can start start building here. So we're going to go to File, New Project, and I have mine saved in C uh, slash airports. So project name, let's go test. Default creator, me, me. Again, this is all arbitrary. You can change it later. Uh, what we're going to create is a package. And this menu kind of tripped me up initially because I wanted to build an airport and I wanted to add animal, a boat in a building. And none of that matters. <laughs> that comes later. What we're going to do is hit custom and our display title is going to be let's just say test company name test package name test and content type needs to be miscellaneous here so once that's added airport asset group name let's just call it test asset type this is the critical part it has to be bgo and a bgo is essentially going to be the final build package that everything is compilated in and that's what's going to go in your community folder. So hit create and our project inspector tab came. So if you don't have it already we're going to go to editors and scenery editor and we have our scenery editor here. Okay so back on our inspector tab wherever yours is I just want to make sure that our save directories are right before we continue. So we go to edit and yeah, that's not where I want it. So add package definitions. I'm going to create a folder called scene. We're not going to use it because everything's going to be built in its own file. But I've come to learn that this process works best when it's scene slash and output director scenery slash. And then we hit load and it should recenter us like that. And then we can just save and it's green. Great. So we're there now. All right, now that that is added, we can start adding our airport. So we're going to go to the objects tab here and drop down menu, airport. And we're just gonna go down and hit add. One click adding and then boom, here's our airport. So I'll do, let me delete that and let me do it again. So you make sure So one click adding and then you can just hit add airport. And then there's our airport. So you see it's red. It means there's a lot of errors. So what it wants is it wants an ICAO. So name it whatever you want. So let's go K test. And K test. Anything red. So let's call this island island test. And essentially. Oh, sorry. And essentially that's just going to be the name that you see in the sim. Uh, object test radius is two thousand. Make it as wide as you want. Uh, I don't, not a hundred, of course. A thousand works. Okay. So that's good. Let's save it. And then this is where you'll 
um, let's just call it island test and then that'll be an XML and again that's just saving it for when you want to edit stuff later so now we can load I don't want to do that All right, so let me open my scenery editor back up, load asset group, and our airport's there again. So this is what I wanted to show that. This whole blue is the radius of our airport. All right, and an airport is useless without a runway. So let's just add a runway. Again, doesn't matter. Pick any of these, we're gonna edit them. Click on one-click placing, and Let's just put it right there. And then click off one click placing so you don't keep adding more. All right, for navigation purposes, um, you know, here's the move tool. Now this is where I got tripped up a little bit is how do you rotate, how do you scale? I only care about rotating, but what you do is you middle mouse click on when you have any of the parts of it highlighted. So again, this is move, middle mouse click, then you can rotate all that. Get all that settled and you'll see our runway is under the sub menu of airport so we go into the properties and if you don't have properties you just see objects here you'll just right click on airport and click the properties box so this is the configuration so let's say we want our heading to be 120 and length 200 is too short okay just why it didn't crash all right, and width, let's go 65. All right, so next part is uh, picking our material. So what we want to do is click, we drop down menu, uh, runway asphalt, and we're going to have a material box here. So let's say you want to add uh, grass or concrete or asphalt or whatever. You're just going to click any of these sub menus here then you're going to have a bunch of items here. I'm going to do ground because I like grass. So we're going to click grass here and it hasn't updated yet because you have to come back over here and click this button again and then it will update. And then you find one you like over here. Try it again. Okay, unfortunately these are all hideous and that's not grass. We find one. All right. Let's just go with that. <laughs> All right, for lights. So obviously you probably want lights. You can fly at night. So go to our drop down menu of lights. And I do outer edge lights medium. And again, you can do all of these other options, markings or whatnot. The whole point of this video is just to get you an airport and get you an airport now. So, all right, we have a runway. Now the last two parts we need are, we just need parking. So uh, actually, if you fly helis like I do, um, we'll just add one for, for your information. So we'll just add a helipad here. And that helipad, unfortunately, when you go into the sim and you want to start there, will not let you until you add a taxiway parking. And one click adding. And it's going to be a little difficult to see, but there's an arrow right there. And that the front of that arrow, because naturally you'd want to put it in the center here, but then your heli is going to start where that arrow is off the pad. So you're going to pull it back to about the center there. Click OK. And then go back to one click so you don't keep adding. So this parking ramp, we're going to select the parking ramp, not the helipad. The helipad's just the object. The parking ramp, go to Properties add a VDGS and that's basically going to be stairs or a, a gateway or whatever um, it needs that for it to work so I just use use default and that's just going to give me this little toolbox here and if you want to move it again center click move it wherever you want it we're going to do the same thing with the, the plane parking spots so uh, add a taxi base so we did the heli let me go ahead and save that we did the heli, let's do a general aviation ramp. One click, and then let's add, let's add two here. And the sim is actually going to add 
planes there also. So just make sure that um, you're not selecting, you know, the actually I what I'm telling you to do, I just did the general aviation. So it's going to spawn 787s and stuff like that there. You might want to do small, but for the purpose of this video, um, let's just keep it as is. So those two, same as before, they also need uh, objects. So what we're going to do here is out of EGGS, use default. Out of EGGS, use default. And when you get a lot of these, you're going to realize that they're a little hard to keep track of. So if it doesn't have a Dropbox, then it doesn't have a VDGS installed in it for you. And you'll see we have an error here, and that error is more than likely because this number is basically an instance, so it wants them all to be different. So that's one. We'll change this to two, and we'll change this to three. So that way we don't have any duplicates. Once I changed one of them from zero to one, it, no, there were no longer duplicates. Save scenery, no errors. That is great. And for the last part of this video, let's just go ahead and uh, we'll add a windsock. I don't know why. Let's put one right there. It's silly, I know, but it's for demonstration purposes. And sim object is going to be kind of like just planes if you want to add prop planes um, everywhere. Great. Uh, scenery is where you're going to add your building. So, you know, there's a massive library. So any keyword you can think of. I mean, hangar, garage. So select this, one click. And then, yeah, you can add that. This one looks cool. Got that. This one, I don't know what that is, but we'll add it. Okay. Again, this looks silly but the whole point of this video is to show that this is all very quick um, and functional and so let's save our scenery and we're ready to get this in the sim this is that that was it um, let's go ahead and hit tilde key we're gonna hit clear all clear all to this log is uh, gone and then we're gonna go to the top left here build all in project <laughs> Actually, let's go to um, project, save, and then we're gonna build all on project, and then we're gonna pray we get no errors. So here we have, this is what we're looking for, finished. Zero skipped, five done, zero failed. That's perfect. So that means our project is ready and it's going to fit in the sim perfectly. So what we're going to do now is, um, we're going to need to get all of this in the community folder. So the easiest way to find your community folder, because it's one of those subdirectories that's in like app data and all these hidden files. The easiest way to do it is go to tools, virtual file system, package folders, and then open community folder. And then it's gonna take you to your community folder. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, ahead of time, right click on your desktop and create a shortcut. Open the community folder and then copy that address as text and then open your shortcut and then paste that shortcut or that text as the address of the shortcut. That way you can always get to that community quickly rather than trying to figure out how to, uh, how to make it all work. All right, so there's one part of this process that I meant to show that I kind of forgot to show is the foliage exclusion. Now, this can take quite a while to uh, to make work, just for the simple fact that it's extremely buggy. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to Polygon here. So let's say we want to get rid of all these trees. We're going to go to Polygon, and then we're going to go to the one click, and we're going to hit Add. So we see we have our red cursor here. Hold Control, click, bring it down. And it's not going to work because, again, this is an extremely painful process. So drag it to anywhere here. Double click. Didn't work. Okay. So we're going to right click on it. Resume editing. Hold control. Click. Try it again. And just keep repeating this process. And again, I know this is such a pain. But for whatever reason, this thing is so buggy. I don't know why it doesn't work. 
Um, sometimes it works when I move it around folders, but again, right click, okay, there. It kind of gave us another option. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna try it again and it's not gonna take. And then we're just gonna keep doing this until finally, you know, you just keep double clicking. Hold control click, didn't work, double click. And keep resume editing until All right, so at some point, you're going to have a purple box like this. And essentially, that anything in that zone is what you're going to be manipulating. And a little trick I found is when it's not, when it's not doing what you want, you can, uh, you can just grab the menu and, and wiggle. I don't know. It's buggy. That's all I know is it's buggy. So what we're going to do is with that polygon selected, um, we're going to go into the properties. We're going to go to uh, ve click vegetation. And you'll see here in the vegetation, it added a bunch. Well, we'll we don't want to add any. So we're going to take the density all the way down to nothing. Same with the scale. And again, this can also be used in the inverse of if this was a barren area, you can use this box to add vegetation rather than individually click. All right, so now that you've built the file, what you're going to do is you'll have your, wherever you saved your airports, you know, ours was named test. So we'll go to test, packages, and copy this folder. That folder is what you're going to paste into the community packages folder as well. And once you do that, it should come up in the sim. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'll meet you back here. All right, now that your, uh, your file is in your community folder, it should show up in the sim. Yeah, I'm not even in dev mode, no. No, uh, full bar, so it should show up, and I see it there already. Yeah, these are our test. So, and there's our helipad. There's our start points. I should have mentioned that earlier in the video. I apologize, I did miss. Our start points are here are a little wacky. Um, what you'll do is you'll, on the configuration part, uh, there'll be a menu at the very bottom called starting points. And you'll just drag those to each end of them. That'll give you a better starting point, but yeah. So here's our two parkings. So if we want to set, example, that as departure, then oh, you'll see that the sim already obviously gave us a neighbor. <laughs> but yeah, we have a fully functioning airport. Didn't take very long to do. There's our building. We have crews, windsocks. And yeah, it all, it all works. It's there. It didn't take very long to build. Again, this is not beautiful, but it's functioning. And yeah, let your creativity run free. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this and you have a great night.